Thanks for flying with Delta. Every time we take off, we try to make the world a little smaller. Our first priority on every flight is the safety of our customers and crew. So please, give us your attention as we show you one of the safest worlds there is, the world of the safety card. Be sure that all carry-on items are securely stowed in an overhead bin and place smaller items, including handbags, under the seat in front of you. If you lose your electronic device in your seat, please do not adjust your seat and ask a crew member for assistance. Please ensure all aisles, exits, and bulkhead areas are clear. As we leave the gate, make sure your seatbelt is fastened. To fasten, insert the metal tip into the buckle and adjust the strap so it's low and tight across your lap. To release the belt, just lift the top of the buckle. So please remain seated with your seatbelt securely fastened anytime the seatbelt sign is on. And even if the sign is off, please keep your seatbelt fastened in case we experience unexpected rough air. For everyone's safety, federal regulations require all passengers to comply with the posted placards and lighted information signs located throughout the cabin, in addition to any crew member's instructions. Smoking, including the use of e-cigarettes, is not allowed on any Delta flight, and federal law prohibits tampering with, disabling, or destroying a restroom smoke detector. Well, that's funny, I was about to call you. There are eight exits on this plane, eight doors, four on each side. Four doors have Take detachable off. slides yep. that can be used as rafts. An additional raft is oh, located yeah, in an overhead well, bin in the middle of the plane. Now. In the event of an evacuation, leave all carry-on items behind. All exits are clearly marked with an exit sign. However, if there's a loss of power and cabin visibility yeah, is reduced, right now, like, flights will illuminate the aisle to guide you to an exit. Please note that exit signs on this airplane identify each exit with a green symbol. Arrows indicate the direction to the exit. Locate the exit nearest you using these green symbols. Keeping in mind, the nearest exit might be behind you. It's unlikely, but if cabin pressure changes, the panels above your seat will open, revealing oxygen masks. If this happens, reach up and pull the mask toward you until the tube is fully extended. Place the mask over your nose and mouth. Put the elastic strap over your head and adjust the mask if necessary. Breathe normally and note that oxygen is flowing, so don't worry if the bag doesn't inflate. Be sure to adjust your own mask before helping others. A water evacuation is also unlikely, but just in case, life vests are located under your seats in the main cabin. If you're seated in the first class or business class cabin, life vests are either in a compartment beneath or adjacent to your seat. To use, remove the vest from its container by pulling on the tab and then opening the pouch. Flip the vest over your head. Wrap the strap around your waist and attach it to the buckle in front and adjust securely around your waist. As you leave the plane, inflate the vest by pulling down on the red tab at the bottom of the vest or manually inflate it by blowing into the tube at shoulder level. A water-activated light is attached to each vest. If necessary, we'll distribute additional life vests for children who weigh 35 pounds or less. Now, before we take off, be sure your seat is upright, your aisle armrests are lowered, and your tray table is put away. As we come through the cabin for our final safety check, please let us know if you need anything before we take off. And finally, now would be a good time for everyone to review the safety information card, which is in your seat pocket. On behalf of everyone at Delta, thank you for paying attention. Now, as we get ready for takeoff, please sit back, settle in, and enjoy your flight.